This video will cover how we troubleshoot an engine light warning with a P0014 code and replace the camshaft oil control valve after testing it on this 2015 Chevy Equinox 2.4 liter. When you get an engine light on your cluster you definitely want to check immediately what's causing it to come on. Using any OBD2 scanner, plug it into the mail plug on the driver's side under the dashboard. The scanner screen will light up. Turn on the ignition. Select Diagnostic and hit OK. After it processes, hit OK again to get to the Diagnostic menu. Then select to read codes. It's hard to read on this screen, but this is what we got. Code P0014 camshaft position timing over advanced or system performance bank one. After researching, we came up with a few things that can cause this code. The most common causes of P0014 in the Equinox is wiring issues. If there's visible damage to any of the wiring going to the sensor, then oil issues. Camshaft actuators don't function properly with old or low oil. But we recently did an oil and filter change, so that can't be it. A bad camshaft actuator is the solenoid that engages the camshaft and actually controls its timing. If it's not a wiring issue, it's a very good chance that this will be the problem. If none of the above, then it's the timing chain. If the chain has jumped a tooth, it can leave the engine running advanced and throw the P0014. This is not most likely, according to the research I did, but it's possible. It's time to go under the hood. We start by taking the air intake cover off, but first we need to take this tube that goes down to the throttle body off by gently pulling and wiggle side to side. It's got a clamp right here. Then we loosen this clamp on the inlet tube. Next, loosen another clamp going into the throttle body. Right there. I used an 8mm socket on a small ratchet with a long extension, but a long flat screwdriver can be used as well. Once that's done, we can take the air intake box off by gently pulling the back corners and then pull the front from the throttle body hose that you just loosened. These are the cups that are clipped into the two pegs. This is the throttle body in which we need to cover so nothing gets in there. To remove this engine cover we need to remove the oil filler cap first. Then lift the left front side from the peg and the two back ones by the firewall. Then we put the oil filler back on for now. So there are two valves to distinguish the two. The back one has got a black plastic top, which is the exhaust side that usually gives the P0014 code. The front one has a plastic gray top, the intake side. According to my research, it throws a P0013 code. But before we go further, we want to check the wiring to make sure that there's no visible damage on them. Check anything else that might be worn or broken. If everything looks okay, then we test our valve with a multimeter. But first we clean the top of the engine by blowing air and remove any debris that could fall in the opening if we eventually end up taking out the valve. Also find something to cover the throttle body. We use a spray can cover that fits, but a rack can be used as well. We want to blow out the area where the two valves are bolted in. If you look real close, you'll see the bolts, there's one bolt each holding them in. We want to take out the one in the back. Since the wire harness on the front sensor is kind of in the way, we unplug it first. Just pull that small lock there and it will pull right out. Then we pull out the plug itself. Then we take the exhaust side plug off in which we need to test.
Since we're at it, we test the front sensor first. Good and it checks one. out. So that one tests good. Uh, we'll move your hand. That was the point to it. That was this one. Tests good. All right, now we're going to test the black one. Turn the light a little higher. We go to the exhaust sensor, and there's no and continuity. At all. At all. That tells me the sensor is it. bad. That's the black one right there. Using a 10 millimeter socket with a short extension and a ratchet, take the one bolt off that holds the back sensor. Using channel locks, I wiggle the sensor to get it loose and it pulled right off. We were fortunate to find a genuine part by GM, believe it or not. At least that's what the box indicates. There's the numbers and I will put a link in the description. Make sure it matches the old one. Check for the o-ring on the new one. It comes with a new bolt as well. And the plug is a two-prong. If you can see the screen on the new one, it's really clear. Where on the old one, it's really packed with gum. They say it's possible to clean them with brake fluid and blow them with air and sometimes they can work again but we're not taking that chance so let's put the new one on slide it in line in the bracket with the threaded hole insert the 10 millimeter bolt then with the socket and a short extension start the thread to make sure it's not crossed Once it started, finish tightening with a ratchet till it's snug. Just to make sure, we will give the other one a test again as well. Nice. Reinsert the plugs on both sensors and don't forget the locking clips. Pull on them after inserting them back to make sure they are clipped in. Before putting back the cover, make sure you double check everything and tools are not left behind. Take the filler cap off again and place the engine cover back on the pegs. Put the cap back on. Then put the intake box back on. By lining up the two back pegs to the bottom of the cups under the box. Then insert the boot onto the throttle body. And push into place. Push the throttle body tube back into the side of the intake box. Tighten the clamp around the throttle body boot. Then tighten the clamp on the air inlet tube. Now it's the moment of truth. Plug in the OBD2 scanner under the dashboard. Turn the key on without starting. The engine light will stay on until you clear the code. So go to diagnostic. After processing, choose read codes. You will see the P0014 code again. There's a couple of ways to turn off the engine light and erase the code. The method we use is with our OBD scanner. We go back to the menu and choose erase codes. Please turn ignition on with engine off. Processing emission reaching on us information has been cleared. So right now it's still going to show the code. Once the OBD confirms it has erased the code, 
turn the key off for a few seconds. Put it back on then start the, the engine. See if it does go off, stay off. And no engine light is back on. We did drive it for about 20 miles and no engine light or code came back. The troubleshooting and changing the part was very easy. The most expensive tool needed here is the OBD scanner, but you can get a cheap one on Amazon. And you will need it again in the future with today's vehicles anyway. One time you use it, it will more than pay for itself. Hopefully this video helped you along the way and if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comments and check the description for links of all the parts and tools we used. Thank you for watching. You all have a great day.